Dieses up, down. Dieses up, down. All around, all around. How are you? Are you okay? I am okay too. Hope you're well. It's your teacher, Nonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu. Learning Simplified. Wow. Place value. Now, we have done place value using the one. Yes, Janet. Using the sticks. Bundles of sticks. We have done using the place value tins. Then, uppercase. Now, we have been doing only the place value for ones and tens. For ones and tens. I'm told, represent this number using the bundles of stick. I just draw 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is one bundle of sticks and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The same, same number using the place value tens. I just say tens ones so i have how many one ten one two three four five six seven eight and eight ones the same same number using the abacus i have tens ones then i draw my abacus very well so i have one two three four five six seven eight and now, I want to introduce another number which is 100. Now we want to do, what if I'm told to represent 3, 2, 4. Rule number 1, the ones, we start counting from which side, which hand? The right hand. So, number 4 is in which place value? Number 4 is in the ones place value, followed by tens and lastly the hundreds so i'm told to represent this number using the abacus let's see i have been told to represent this number using the abacus one hundreds okay so what will happen i will take my that is this one represents the one, this one represents the tens, and this one represents the hundreds. So what will I do? I will take this and put it in the ones plus value. So how many ones am I supposed to be having? How many ones? Four ones. So I have one, two, Three and four. That is using the abacus. I have four. Mm -hmm. Using the tens, how many tens am I supposed to be having? They have said two tens. So I take one so that i have how many two tens and lastly i've been told to represent to represent the hundreds plus value using the ones let's see let's see and then in the ones plus value i only need one. I only need one. So these are the hundreds, these are the tens, and these are the ones. So if I'm told to use the abacus to represent those numbers, I have already represented them on the abacus which will look like this mm 
Now I have moved to how many? To three sections. So here it is the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So how many ones? One, two, three, four. How many tens? One, two. And how many hundreds? One. To represent the number four ones, two tens, and one hundreds. I can still use represent the same same number using the place value tens. Now these ones are my place value tens. These ones are my place value tens. Representing the same same number using the place value tens. I need to change this name so that some of you will read them when they are upright. They are not able to read when they are upside down. So using the place value tens, this is the ones, plus value, this is the tens, and this is the hundred. So I've been told to represent the ones in the how many ones do I have? I have four ones. So I have one. Two, three, four. How many tens do I have? I have two tens. So I have one, two. And how many hundreds do I have? I have only one hundred. So my number will still remain one hundreds, two tens, and four ones. It is the same thing when I'm told to use the sticks. How many bundles of sticks should I have? I should have more than, I should have 10, 100 bundles of sticks, then two, then four ones. And it will still give me the same thing. Now, what if I've been given this table and I've, to, I've been told, now fill in the table, fill in this table using the numbers you have learned using the different method you have learned about plus value so i have the number there i have ten hundreds so and i've been told represent this number this is a plus value chart plus value so here I have my number. The numbers appear here. Number. This is hundreds. This is tens. And this is ones. So I've been told represent the number one, zero, seven, six. Eight, one, eight, nine, seven, and one, three, two. Represent this number on the plus value chart. Represent this number on the plus value chart. I'll still come and say once. It's on the right hand, the furthest right then zero here then one we said when the numbers are less you put a zero before that digit so we have eight ones six tens and zero hundreds here we have nine ones eight tens and four hundreds so the remaining are your questions for homework for me i have done the example now i expect people to practice in their own books. Teacher, should we start from number one? Yes, start from number one as an example so that you know what exactly are you supposed to do. Any question? Any problem when it comes to place value? And in grade four, you will now even increase the number. These ones will now be four. And when you move from hundreds, there's a number we are going to, which is called thousand. The number that has how many zeros? Three zeros, okay? 
up to there. Any question, any problem? Wow, thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next lesson.